Hey guys, it's me, Max Dean. Yesterday, I didn't record at all, so we have a day missing, but let me explain why. I, not last night, but the night before, I went inside to have dinner, and I guess it was probably 10 at night or later, probably. I usually eat late, late, but I go to bed late, late, too, so... Um, I go inside to eat, but innocently enough, I left my phone sitting right here where we're at right now, in this in this space, along with my wallet. I go inside to eat, I take my time, I come back outside, and the dogs decided to have themselves a treat, and ate my phone and my wallet. And I don't have my ID on me, oh wait, hold on, maybe it's in my... No, it's in the jacket, but the jacket's there, and okay. But this is what's left of my phone case. See, remember this from the video the other day? Yeah, look here. Look here is right. Oh, my phone screen obviously is pretty cracked and damaged. So I spent yesterday trying to figure out if I can get a replacement phone. Today's a new day, it's early. Um, I'm gonna work on some paintings. Uh, yeah, uh, also, yesterday it rained, and so my buddy didn't come over to work on the lawnmower, so I'm not worried about mowing it right now anyway. But, just letting you know, just letting you know. I have been doing something interesting though. Well, I haven't been doing something interesting. I've been watching something interesting. I've been looking up all the um, old skateboard videos, like the Pal Peralta, Alva, but yeah, all those old original skater guys, like Tony Hawk, how when they got started, and guys that, you know, I, I was into the skating and snowboarding scene, and I never even heard of some of these guys, but they are like innovators, like Rodney Mullen. I know that name, it sounds familiar, but I couldn't tell you for why, what, for what reason, for why, but, Rodney Mullen is basically the godfather of like any kind of skateboard on like free skating trick like freestyle tricks like flips and ollies and grabs and grinds and he's like the master he created like a mazillion skateboard tricks he was unchallenged in skate free store fr freestyle skateboarding for like 11 years and then they just got done away with the whole freestyle category of skateboarding. So he was left the world champion in that. Unless they bring it back now, if they may have already, I don't know. Anyways, so that's what I've been watching. Very cool. I've, I watched, it started by watching something about Bam Margera. And then it just evolves. You know how if you just let YouTube play, it just evolves into where, how did I get to this video? type thing and that's what happened but luckily enough this time every video was you know relatively interesting so that's good and these guys are bananas man teeth and junk being knocked out and breaking bones like crazy so anyway that's what I've been doing yeah yeah I think about it uh, okay I'm gonna get to work I'm doing something. I'll talk to you in a minute. I'm always using this handheld tripod and it has the handmade phone holder thingy. So I decided to make another one. And there it is. It's a little bit larger. It's a little bit longer. Come on. Get your mind's out of the gutter. We're doing science. And uh, now that it's... Um, cut out and somewhat shaped I'm gonna paint it and then I'm gonna get the hot glue gun out and uh, pad it up and you know size it up to fit better hey hey the paint that I was planning on using was already uh, dried up or at least it wasn't working so I decided to go with a different color her pile let's see if this one works and it works. This is gonna be my new paint booth. 
all the amenities. Coat hangers and basketball nets. Okay, we're all dried up. Huh? The only part that didn't get painted was the bottom. Neglect is all that is. But it all came out pretty well covered and uh, you know, it is what it's gonna be. But then I gotta put in the nut. Let that dry for now, but let's put a little coat of love on this. I know that there's a lot of space right here, so I'm just gonna go ahead and put a bunch in there right now. That's just gonna be the trial run. See how this goes. And look, it's turning white. You getting me? I trimmed it up, so now this is what it looks like. See? You're getting the idea now, right? Okay. Let's clean up as I go, though. Remember, guys, always try to keep your workspace clean. Honestly, have you seen my workspace? I wouldn't say clean's the word. More like, not clean, burned myself. All right, guys, this is the original camera phone holder on the tripod, right? Okay, this is level two. Got it all finished up. I got the glue all in there. I test fitted it. It seems to be working all righty. I don't know if I'm gonna chop off this little uh, flippity deppity do on the top because you see this one, it doesn't have it and so I leave that one on there it might be funky all right here's the new tripod holder here's the red one that one's going over there on that thing but the only thing I have concerns with is that it's a little wobbly you know what I mean I think just because it's taller and the way I have the way I have it the nut attached to the inside is with hot glue and in this one I used Gorilla Glue and Gorilla Glue expands and turns into stone basically. So I, what I might do is, when I get some more Gorilla Glue is um, remove this piece, this nut, and uh, reattach it with Gorilla Glue. But that's, you know, if it fails for some reason. Right now it seems to be working fine. It's just like I say, a little wobbly. And I think that the longer that this plat, this hot glue cures, the harder it gets. Like, did you know that concrete never stops curing? It'll get harder every day, forever and ever and ever. Look it up. I might be lying. <laughs> All right, guys, it's the next day, and uh, here's the finished product. What do you think? I didn't ever put a ending on the video yesterday because I'm lazy at heart. So I'm watching Casey Neistat's vlog and getting ready to start the day, and uh, I gotta take a shower. I gotta give a couple of little doggies a bath and move on. I'm DJing tonight. So I'm gonna try to work on a little bit of painting before I go in. I know you guys are already over all that. When I do the original artwork that I'm talking about, guys, I have some really cool projects that I'm gonna do. Um, one for Vivian Vanity and just some other ideas that I've been really kind of just holding on to that I haven't made come to life. I'm gonna do those. Those I will include into the vlog because I wanna show you, I wanna explain what they're about, why I'm doing them, and how the idea came to light. So, I'll talk at you later. Thank you for being here with me, 
and all of us, and we'll talk to you soon.